the JE main results have come and now a lot of parents and students are anxious about the counseling process. So, this short video is going to take you through the most important points regarding the counseling process. For the last few years, there is an integrated counseling process for IITs, NITs, IIITs and other GFTIs. It is called JOSA counseling. JOSA stands for Joint Seat Allocation Authority. All right. So, let us understand what this JOSA does. So, JOSA counseling this year in 2022 is going to cover 114 institutes totally. 114 institutes. And these 114 institutes contain 23 IITs. So, all the 23 IITs are covered under JOSA counseling. All the 31 NITs are covered under JOSA counseling. Um, IAST, Indian Institute of Engineering, Science and Technology, Shippur. Triple ITs, 26 triple ITs are covered under JOSA counseling. And I will spend a little time on explaining what are these triple ITs. And then GFTIs, 33 GFTIs, government funded technical institutes, 33 GFTIs are covered under JOSA counseling. So, what is going to happen is on September 11th this year, JE advanced results are expected. Immediately on September 12th, the JOSA counseling is going to start. Right now, the JOSA counseling, JOSA website is up, but two important details are missing there. One is the information booklet, which talks about the business rules, like how is how are they going to uh, go ahead with this counseling process? What are the steps that one needs to follow? What is the registration procedure? What are the important dates? How many rounds, etc., etc. So that is missing. The second one is the seat matrix. So because you need to know which are the institutes. Of course, we know all the institutes. But what are the branches in each of these institutes? How many seats are there in each of the institutes? All of these things have to be made available. This information has to be made available to you. So these two will be made available sometime in the next two or three weeks but going by past experience they will be announced just about one or two days before september 12th so i expect this around 10th or 11th of september however based on previous years we know what will be the business rules normally the entire counseling process is online so you don't have to go anywhere physically to opt for your branch of your choice. What all you have to do is from the comfort of your home, you can fill the branch preferences. So on September 12th, you will be able to log in and register. There will be certain per uh, personal details you will be asked and you will fill those details. And after that, you will be given a form which where you will fill up your choices. So your choice one could be IIT Bombay Computer Science, Choice 2 could be IIT Delhi Computer Science, Choice 3 could be IIT Madras Computer Science, etc, 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 etc. So, somewhere down there, you can also add NIT Trichy Computer Science, then NIT Suratkal Computer Science, NIT Warangal Computer Science, etc, etc. And you can add as many choices as you want in the preference order. So, if you want, if you, if you, if you think that your preference number 1 is going to be IIT Bombay Computer Science, so that is what you will give. And if you, if you feel that preference number 40 is going to be NIT Trichy Computer Science, then that is where you will mention NIT Trichy Computer Science. So, you can give these options. Normally, you will be given 10 days to fill up these options. And during these 10 days, after the initial 5 or 6 days, there will be a mock allocation round. So, there will be in fact two mock allocation rounds. So, based on the choices that have been filled up by all the candidates till that time, you will, uh, you the mock allocation round will tell you what branch you are likely to get. So, based on that, you can make a few more changes. But whatever it is, uh, within 10 days, the, uh, the, the choice filling will end. And on the 11th day, usually, I am talking about usually what happens, but we will have to look at the business rules this year. So, on the 11th day, the first round results will be announced. Announced in the sense, uh, you will be getting a message and uh, you can go to 
the website login and you will know what branch has been allotted, which institute and what branch has been allotted. You will be given four days to do online reporting. So for the last two years because of COVID, uh, this reporting was online, but pre-COVID it used to be physical. You had to go to a nearest IIT or a nearest NIT to do this reporting where you submit your certificates, the certificates are verified and all that. But uh, last two years because of COVID, this was being done physically, uh, this was being done online. And I see no reason why uh, this should be discontinued. So for all uh, practical purposes, I think this year also it is going to be online reporting. So you'll be given about four days to do this online reporting. And once that reporting is done, based on the seats that are not filled, your second round will start. Again, the same cycle continues. In the IIT system, there will be totally six rounds. In the NIT system, there will be totally seven rounds. This was last year. And I think most probably the same thing will continue this year. So yeah, in the NIT system, NIT system means NITs, IIITs and GFTIs. All of these things are uh, called together the NIT system. After the seven rounds are over, you will have to, your classes will start uh, at, at the respective institutes where you are supposed to report. But there are two further rounds because in the case of the NITs and the IIITs, uh, even after the classes start, there will be a few seats which are vacant. So they have a special CSAB round, C-S-A-B, CSAB round. There will be two rounds under CSAB where these vacant seats are allocated to candidates. And there is a specific online process. More about CSAB we will do later. But if you want to know more about CSAB, uh, you go to our channel. And last year, there are some videos available on CSAB. You can understand what CSAB is all about. So that is in brief what this counseling is about. So approximately for all these six rounds, uh, you will have about, about six weeks for this entire process to pan out starting from September 12th. So the big question now is what is it that you're going to do now? My advice is all those students who are focusing on JE Advanced, please continue to focus on JE Advanced. Don't bother about all this. Let this not clutter your preparation. Let us, let us not clutter your mind at this stage. You should be focused totally on JE Advanced. Parents of such students and also students who are only bothered about NIT and IIIT admissions can do some background work because we have got approximately one month for JOSA counseling to start. So you can do some background work in terms of finding out which institutes, what branches, what are your preference orders, collect information, etc, etc. But most critically, Apart from collecting that information, there are a couple of things that you should do. One is your certificates. All the certificates that are required should be with you. And what are these certificates that are required? Apart from marks and all that, what are the most important things? One is medical. And this medical certificate can be collected uh, after September 12th. So no hurry because it's going to take no more than an hour or so. But more importantly, the CAS certificate and specifically OBC and EWS because both OBC and EWS these certificates have to be have to be taken uh, after April 1st 2022 they have to be issued after April 1 2022 so if you have already taken after April 1 uh, April 1 2022 no issue if you have not taken now is the time to work on that and get that as soon as possible last two years because of corona there was a waiver, uh, even if students were not uh, in position of those certificates, there was an affidavit that was taken from the students that this will be presented at the time of uh, online reporting uh, and the counseling pro process proceeded. But this year, I am not very sure whether that flexibility will be given. So better to be safe. Uh, so what you do is get these certificates issued after April 1st, collected as soon as possible. All right, so that is about the JOSA counseling. If you still have any doubts, uh, put it in the comments box and we will, our team will come back to you with detailed responses. Uh, however, we will also do a detailed counseling, a detailed video for JOSA counseling 2022 after the business rules uh, get announced. That should be around 10th to 12th of September. Okay, now let's look at the I had triple ITs which are there. I told you that we need to talk about the triple ITs because as far as NIT, NITs and IITs are concerned, all the 
IITs are covered, all the NITs are covered. So, let us look at the triple ITs. So, these are the 26 triple ITs which are covered under the JOSA system. Now, some of these triple ITs I have highlighted, which are those things Gwalior, Alabad, Kanchipuram, Jabalpur, and Karnul. Now, these triple ITs are run by Department of Education or Ministry of Education, Government of India, directly Government of India. The rest of the triple ITs have a complicated structure. Uh, it is called public private partnership mode, where the state governments are involved, some private players are involved, etc., etc., because of which there may be some variation in terms of fees. So, if you are particular about fees, you need to get that information about what it costs at each of these institutes. These are the others are Karnul, Jabalpur, Allahabad, Kanchipuram, and Gwalior are all government, totally 100% government institutes run by government of India. So, this is something that you need to keep in mind. Now, two, if you notice here, there are two notable exceptions. You can go through this or you can also take a screenshot of this. You can also take a screenshot of this. There are two notable exceptions. One is Triple IT Hyderabad. The second is Triple IT Bangalore. Please understand that both Triple IT Hyderabad as well as Triple IT Bangalore are private Triple ITs. Uh, in fact, they are called International Institutes of Information Technology, not Indian Institutes of Information Technology. But Triple IT Hyderabad is preferred, uh, has a lot of reputation, it is at par with some the first generation IITs, there is a lot of demand for Triple IT Hyderabad. Triple IT Bangalore is also gaining in reputation. Uh, Triple IT Bangalore offers a integrated five year MTech program. Now the point is, the counseling process for Triple IT Hyderabad and Triple IT uh, Bangalore is not under JOSA. They have their own separate application process and in fact, the application process for both Triple IT Hyderabad and Triple IT Bangalore have already started. So, if you are pinning off your hopes on any of these, you should go to the website immediately, Triple IT Hyderabad and Triple IT Bangalore and apply. The last date for application of Triple IT Hyderabad is 1st September and the last date for as far as Triple IT Bangalore is concerned is 12th September. So, if you are looking at these two institutes, do not wait for JOSA counseling. In fact, JOSA counseling will not even start, their last date will be over. So, go immediately to the websites and finish your online application process. Okay. Now, then you have the important GFTIs. Now, there are a lot of GFTIs, I am not going to cover all of them. The important GFTIs under JOSA one is BITS Ranchi. The second one is uh, Institute of Inf uh, Infrastructure, Technology, Research and Management at Ahmedabad, School of Planning and Architecture at Bhopal, New Delhi and Vijayawada, Triple IT, Naya Raipur, this is one, one word, Naya Raipur, there is no comma there, uh, University of Hyderabad, University of Hyderabad, in fact, this Triple IT, Hyderabad, uh, Triple IT, Naya Raipur is also International Institute of Information Technology, it is covered, uh, it is a GFTI covered under JOSA counselling. University of Hyderabad has an integrated MTech program also covered under JOSA counseling. Punjab Engineering College Chandigarh is a fine engineering uh, institute also covered under JOSA counseling. JNU uh, of also offers some engineering programs covered under J JOSA counseling. Triple IT Bhubaneswar also is in this list. And uh, those of you who are interested in food technology can look at this. National Institute of Food Technology, Entrepreneurship and Management in Haryana. It is a fine institute. Those of you who are interested in food technology, this is a premier institute uh, in food technology in the country. All right. So, that is about JOSA counseling this year. More details once the business rules are announced. If you still have any doubts in the comment section, write your doubt. Our team will come back to you with answers. Now, those are the students who are who have not done well at JE Main and feel that they still have the potential and think that uh, they can target JE Main and JE Advanced and they feel that they should be in one of the IITs or the NITs. You don't have to bother, you can always repeat. So, there is a repeat option. Uh, IITs allow you to repeat twice two consecutive attempts you can make. This year, I can understand a lot of students had a problem because of Corona. There were no physical classes, online classes were there till 
in most states till September and physical classes started only uh, after that by which time in fact most of the syllabus was over a lot of students got distracted online classes were not conducted properly so all of these issues were there so no worry so if you feel that you've got the potential you can always repeat this program and uh, in fact we are going to do a video shortly on who should repeat and why you should repeat but irrespective of what we are going to say if you feel that you've got the potential i think you should go ahead and repeat you're not going to lose anything uh, and specifically this year as you know the entire admission process got delayed and uh, uh, je advanced is on 28th of uh, august september 12th the counseling process is going to start so this counseling process is going to continue till almost end of october so i see the uh, academic session at the IITs and NITs to, starting only from 1st of November at the best, which means that the, the students who are joining this year are already going to lose three to four months. Whereas you, in a few months from now, you're going to take the uh, JE advance because next year JE will be held on time in May itself, and next year academic program will start as per normal schedule, end of July, first week of August, and you will have the normal. Uh, complete one year without losing anything. So you are not going to lose much even if you repeat this time. So for all those people who are going to repeat, we've got this program, the long term program for repeaters for JE main and advanced at both our centers at uh, Nallakunta and Madhapur. Nallakunta and Madhapur. These are the two numbers. These are the two numbers, mobile numbers. If you want any details about uh, the program, uh, that we are offering for JE Advance and JE Main at Nalakunda and Madhapur, you can call these numbers. Hostel facility is available at both the locations. Okay, so with that, we'll wrap up this video. Uh, we'll cover more about JOSA counseling once the business rules are announced. So, till that time, all the best.